Flow is revolutionizing cable, internet and landline services in Jamaica. Festival organizer Walter Elmore expressed his pleasure with Flow's sponsorship of the event. Flow is unplugged at Jazz and it's Wi-Fi over the stadium. I don't know, Walter, how have the crew been enjoying Flow internet? I mean, everybody's loving it. It's perfect. Is it perfect? It's, perfect. it's working? It's perfect. So that's one of the things that we're doing. We're also providing um, a Flow lounge area for, for patrons to come and enjoy the internet, Twitter, Facebook, and tell their friends what they're missing at the best jazz festival in the world. <laughs> and they're doing that as well. Oh, they're yeah, very no, busy, yeah. So it's a great association. No, it's a good, yeah, the yeah. traffic has been quite intense on Twitter yeah. and Facebook about yeah. the event. No, it so it's been no. very, very good. And no. Flow's been great with us, absolutely great. Here we go. I guess you wonder where I've been. Now, search to find the love we need. So we're here. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little break, you know, chilling with these people here. They come to Jazz and Blues every year, right? And they're going to tell us about what kind of preparation they put into getting ready for this festival. Oh my. Um, I think from like around October, I take out my bag with all of my stuff and I pack all my chairs and my wares and um, so everything is comfortable but it's a lot of preparation yeah what, 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 I mean what do you take with you apart from the chairs and I see a roll or something like a carpet well you like you're right at home exactly we wanted to get a feel of the living room and we're watching like a, a movie or something you know that's that the feel that we wanted to get yeah and, and what about you we just watch our get everything together <laughs> and that's so true. we buy the ticket <laughs> Speaking of buying, vendors offered a shopper's paradise for jazz fans. Now this is actually the charms. And like I said, this was done specifically for Jazz Fest to give the woman that extra bit of elegance, a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of hot stuff. We have some authentic pieces, you know, very unusual, very creative. You know, so I, I just want to showcase, you know, all the lovely talents that we have here in Jamaica. And it's a good place at Jazz to do that. Jazz Festival has always been really good for us. That's why we keep coming back. And um, I like the new venue. It's okay. It's a nice venue. Because you have more space to display more products. Right. Yes. And, and we have great bathrooms. <laughs> Flo will be in Montego Bay with video, internet, and telephone service in, wait for it, March. All right. <laughs> Come quickly. <laughs> we need you. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. No, that's the truth. Yeah. I have new product most time we come out. Uh, like my light switch covers, as I can see, those are new products. As you can see, the paintings are there. Right. I do mostly landscape Jamaican scenes so people can take like, a piece of Jamaica with them when they travel. Coming to a music event, uh, maybe that person might not go to a gallery. So by coming here, it will, it will expose another side of Jamaica. They say drumming is a part of our culture. It's what our African ancestors used to use to entertain themselves. And Mr. Supersad, lecturer at the Edmundi College of the Visual and Performing Arts, he makes them. He makes them. Not only does he make them, he also plays them. These are my version of an African technique in a new age of drumming. Upcoming talent gained exposure on the festival's second stage. Several entertainers gave a musical history lesson explaining reggae and jazz's connection. The drum is a heartbeat, the, the bass is the pulse. You know what I mean? If you don't have a heartbeat and you don't have a pulse, that means you're not alive. You can't enjoy the jazz and the blues. The beautiful thing is actually ska, it's ska that came up out of blues. Because if you were to take like a, like a blues a, a, a shuffle beat and flip it just a little bit, it's ska. It's the same thing. I don't want it all, baby. I only want a little bit. Get the best in reggae, the best in R&B, the best in 
little bit of jazz, a little bit of blues, some rock. You know, it's really nice. It just makes for a nice vibe. And as Walter Elmore always says, if you're not interested in one act, that's a great time to go walk around and see all the beautiful stalls and eat some food and have a drink or whatever it is. So, you know, it makes for a really nice balance between performances that you just don't want to miss a second of and then times to just explore the beautiful grounds and all that the vendors have to offer. The venue is nice, you know, I mean, we've been over the world in stadiums where they set up these kind of ambience and it, it works. You know? so. What's up? I'm Deborah Cox. And I'm Jamia. I'm Kelly Price. And you're watching Flow TV. We're the Queen Project. Get your flow hey, on. get your flow on. What? Get your flow get your, on. <laughs> get your flow on. I get can't your take flow them on. Anywhere. While patrons enjoyed flow services in the lounge, artists were clear to express how internet technology has revolutionized the entertainment industry. Really have to big up flow still and give thanks because you know this whole internet thing right now even this new album i'm telling you about a lot of the marketing thing is online you know so it's very important to, you know what you guys are doing because yeah not only blazing speed but a positive and, and a, a consistent um product you know and um i think it's very important because well i mean for one i personally have a difficult time when i'm when my internet isn't working because i have i get like 3,000 Facebook messages every two days. So just to manage my Facebook alone is difficult. You know what I mean? So uh, it's really a necessary thing. And um, I hope you guys keep the vibes up and keep flowing, you know? Well, the new technology is the future. It, it's just what's going on. And uh, it is the... Um, we have to embrace uh, the way people uh, are buying music and the way they, they kind of appreciate and the, and the things that they want to buy, how they want to buy them. So I think it's wonderful. And the future is here. And... Uh, I love the fact that uh, everybody, you can get anything you want and decide what you want exactly in the internet. Flow Unplugged was a hit. Everyone was seen connecting their phones. The festival is now bigger and better in a bigger and better environment. <laughs> I run into so many friends here that you don't see for a long time. They're coming from all over North America, Kingston, everywhere, and we get together, we have a great time and enjoy some wonderful music. Very, very colorful, very lively, um, and it's a great place to just relax. <laughs> Contest winners attended the festival courtesy of Flow. Why you love your Flow? Um, because mainly because of the package that you get, um, the click, talk, and watch. It's a good package. And I have to say, you know what? We've been getting amazing feedback. The place looks fabulous. I mean, it, the, the festival is being powered by Flow, and all of this is being showcased. People are are getting an opportunity to see how they feel. It's really been quite a rewarding experience for us. With night two of Jamaica jazz and blues well on the way, visitors to the Flow Lounge had well-formed opinions on the event and its new venue. Uh, all our hotels in Negril and Ocherias and Montego Bay were, were fully booked. Huh? And that definitely has to do with a jazz festival. Actually, I thought I would have been disappointed, but this is pretty cool. This venue is pretty nice. I think they have captured the ambiance that they've had at the other um, venues. I'm really, really loving it. What is good about this location for me, and I've observed it, in former years when it was in Montego Bay, apart from the traffic congestion, the businesses in Montego Bay alone would benefit. Now you have businesses benefiting from Ultra Rios, Runaway B. I think it's much spacious, much far better, absolutely better. I think it's easier to park, uh, easier to enjoy the show, not as crowded. I kind of like it. What has happened is grown over the years and it's become a, a, a staple event 
on the calendar for a lot of folks. So they plan vacations around it, and that's when they come home, and um, it's a great idea.